I am João, a Cloud Support DBA here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to copy an Amazon Redshift cluster from one account to a different account. Usually, customers perform this operation from a production account to a quality account, but you can use the steps to move a cluster from one account to another account in the same region. Let's get started. In the account that is the owner of the Amazon Redshift cluster, after logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Redshift Console. Select the cluster to move and then go to the Properties tab. Here you can see more details about the cluster regarding the port that it is using, encryption, and if the cluster is public accessible. Note all those settings. After that, go to Maintenance and Monitoring. Note the maintenance window details. Under the section Audit Logging, check if this cluster is generating audit logs. Now, let's create a snapshot of this cluster. Choose Actions, Create a Snapshot, and then fill the snapshot name and the retention period. This value is the number of days that you want to retain the snapshot. In my case, I'm setting it to 60 days. On the left pane, choose Clusters, Snapshots to see all the snapshots available. Wait a few minutes and make sure that the status of the snapshot is available. After that, select the snapshot, choose Actions, Manage Access, add the number of the account and choose Save. After that, under the section Snapshot Access, you can see the accounts that can restore this snapshot. In the account that is receiving the access to restore the snapshot, now go to the Amazon Redshift console and then select Snapshots. Check the box regarding the snapshot that you received and select Restore a snapshot. In my case, because the snapshot is encrypted, I'm going to need to use an AWS Key Management Service key from this account. Select the node type and number of nodes. One point that is important to mention is that the cluster endpoint is going to change even if we use the same cluster name. So, it's important to communicate to the users that the endpoint is going to change so they can update the cluster URL. Now that we have restored the snapshot, we can also set up audit logs for the new cluster. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>